Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. Today I want to talk about something that is annoying me for a very long time now. So this might be more of a rant than anything else. So what is annoying me? Well, I don't know about you, but I don't like limits. Especially when it feels like someone just picked a random number and hard-coded the system or a service to that random number. What I really love are systems which are flexible and allow to be expanded easily. If you design a system that way from the ground up, then it just makes the life of the user as well as the developer so much easier. Now, Origin and Battlelog are quite new. They both launched in 2011 together with Battlefield 3, so you would think that these were both designed from the ground up as modern systems or service, which you want to be as flexible and easy to expand as possible. We live in a time of Facebook and Twitter. We can easily connect with a lot of people no matter where they are located. So look at the amount of friends and followers you have on Facebook, Google+, Twitter and similar services. Also look at the people you follow. How much friends do they have? What would happen if these services would have a friends or followers limit? That would be pretty stupid, right? Yet this is exactly what Origin has. You are only allowed to have a maximum of 100 friends and this limit carries over to Battlelog as well as other games that build upon Origin. So 100 seems like a high number at the first glance but you can very quickly reach that limit if you play many different games with different people. If I had a lot of fun in Battlefield 4 with some people on a public server then I want to be able to add them to my friends list so that we can play together again. With that limit of 100 friends I cannot do that and I am forced to remove friends again to make room for new people. In the time of Facebook, Twitter and all the other services this feels wrong and outdated. So EA please finally remove that friends limit in origin. You promise us since 2011 that this will be done but nothing has happened in the last 3 years. Nothing at all. Also let me create groups so I can manage my friends in case I have a lot of them. So I can have one group where I add my family members, one where I group the people together I play Battlefield 4 with and so on and so on. It should be similar to the circles you can create on Google+, so I can then also go to Battlelog and set which group or groups are allowed to see my online status and on which server I'm playing. Doesn't this sound like a basic social feature in 2014? I think so. But this friends limit is not the only one that is annoying me in Battlefield. There is more. In all the Battlefield games before Battlefield 3 I could create multiple soldiers with just one account. So I could have one where I really look after my stats, one where I only care about having fun with my friends and playing the objective, one where I was messing around and testing things or I just want to start over again and for that I create an additional soldier. Since Battlefield 3 this is no longer possible. You have one soldier and that's it. I have no idea why they did that. What is the benefit for the player? Or was this done to create a stronger incentive to buy premium? Because then you got the feature to reset your stats and start over again. Resetting your stats as paid feature. Then there are the platoons. In Battlefield 3 I can join or create up to 10 platoons and I can change the name and the tag of the platoon after I created it. So that limit is not too bad. It would be better if there wouldn't be a limit but I can live with that limit in Battlefield 3. Now in Battlefield 4 I can only create one platoon. Not 10, just one. And it is impossible to change the clan tag after you created the platoon. I have no idea how something like this can happen. How is it possible that the next version of your system has such bad limitations? Who decided that these limits were a good idea? The basic idea of a successor is to have it do a better job than its predecessor. That is clearly not the case when the player can do less in the new game than he could do in the previous one. Now how about joining a platoon? In Battlefield 3 you can be a member of up to 10 platoons and the platoons you create do count into that limit. So I'd prefer if that limit would not exist but this is not too bad. However in Battlefield 4 I cannot be a member of 10 platoons. This number was reduced to 3. Again who had the idea to do this? 
What was the reason for this limit to be reduced to 3 instead of increasing it to allow the player to join more platoons than they could in Battlefield 3? When I look at this screen here then I think that it was the art department who is responsible that this limit got decreased because they did want to have this nice new layout. If that is really the case then this is just hilarious because there are a lot of players who hit that limit in Battlefield 4 as I can see in my platoon. If you are already a member in 3 platoons then you can still apply to join another one. But the founder of that platoon cannot accept your request to join and it appears that these players are not aware of that. They might think now why does this guy not accept my joint request? And lastly there is the amount of members a platoon can have. You would think that this is unlimited, right? Because there are communities out there who have hundreds if not thousands of members. So applying a limit there would be very bad. Yet again we do have a limit here. A platoon in Battlefield 3 can only have 100 members and in Battlefield 4 it is the same thing, only that in Battlefield 4 you can earn the right to have more members by reaching a higher rank with your platoon. So at rank 5 your platoon is allowed to have 150 members and at rank 10 it increases to a maximum of 200 players which is still not enough to allow every member of a community to join the platoon if it is a very large community. In Battlefield 3 the founder of the community could at least create up to 10 platoons with just one account, which means that a maximum of 1000 players of his community could join the platoon, or platoons, because these were then split up among these, which is still a bad workaround for that hilarious limitation, but it sort of worked. But in Battlefield 4 the founder of the community cannot use that workaround anymore, because in Battlefield 4 you can only create one platoon per account. So if you have a big community you then need multiple accounts or people who use the only platoon they can create to create one for this community. Dice and EA, please. Such arbitrary limits have no right to exist in 2014. You want that we play your games together with our friends. You have your developers design your games that way. You advertise your games that way. So please remove all these restrictions and allow us to actually play these games with all of our friends. So guys if I don't accept your friend request or the request to join my platoon then please don't be angry at me. Apparently it is EA who does not want that we are friends and play their games together because they have such stupid limitations in their services. Which they don't seem to be very interested to change, at least they didn't show any interest at all during the last 3 years. While on the Xbox One it seems like you can have 1000 friends and on the Playstation 4 you can have 2000. It would of course still be better to have no limit at all like on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus etc. But the 100 friends limit in origin is just ridiculous in comparison to the Xbox One and the Playstation 4. So if you hate these limitations as much as I do then give this video a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.